Hey there. Um, I'm Mark. I'm with Last Chance Animal Rescue, and for the last 10 years I've been volunteering with Last Chance in all different aspects of what Last Chance really does, including a lot of the behind the scenes. Um, we're about one week out from Christmas. Hanukkah starts tonight. And I just wanted to bring you a message about a, actually a, a pretty rare opportunity that Last Chance has to save 15 more dogs before the end of the year. I met the transport van uh, yesterday morning. I think about quarter to seven in the morning I got there before the sun rose. Um, and we thought that was gonna be our last transport of the year. And we saved 15 dogs that came up to awaiting fosters and that was, that was really amazing. Um, I've been meeting the transport van now for about 10 years and it never gets old because as soon as the door opens on the van and you see, I mean, 15, 20, 25 faces of these dogs that really had no future without last chance and you look at them and you're like, how in the world could we live somewhere where these dogs would be just euthanized and just put to the curb like trash? I just, it breaks my heart. but every time the transport van arrives, it lifts my spirit and it makes me want to volunteer again and again and again. And uh, if you've never been to uh, a transport van arrival, I encourage you really, it's, it's something that you really have to experience. Um, but talking about the opportunity that we have, there are 15 more dogs that are literally dying to make it up here to Long Island. And this Thursday, we have 15 foster families lined up and waiting to receive these 15 dogs, but we just don't have the funding in place to make it possible. I mean, uh, honestly, it, people don't think about how much it costs to save a dog. We just think they, they're given to us for free and we ship them up here and it doesn't cost us anything. I think on average it's at least $300 per dog to get them up here. Uh, and then, God forbid, something goes wrong on a health-wise, um, it could cost us hundreds if not thousands more. So, here's the opportunity. In this Christmas season, this Hanukkah season, the season of giving, my grandmother from Ireland, uh, it stays with me. Tis more blessed to give than to receive. And so with that in mind, I'm asking you, please help make this possible. This Thursday, 15 dogs, think about it, at $300 each, that's $4,500. Think about how many of us are out there that could give whatever we can afford to give to make this last trip of the year possible. It will also take a lot of pressure off of the workers on our overcrowded farm in South Carolina. So please, 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 and uh, do it because you know in your heart it's right. And because it, we can't just say, well, it's someone else is gonna do it or someone else is gonna take care of it. There is nobody else. It all starts with us. And so please think about the reason for the season for Christmas, for Hanukkah, all those good feelings of making people smile. Let's make these 15 dogs smile this Christmas and Hanukkah. And um, with that in mind, I want to show you, Sarah, come here, my first foster. And come here. She came up on a transport van. And come here. She, she's playing shy. Come here, Sarah. Come here. Where are you, Sarah? Look at this girl. She came up on transport and um, I couldn't say goodbye to her. So it's, it's animals like this that would do anything for us. And all we have to do is make it possible for them to get up here this Thursday with a small donation, whatever you can afford, a large donation, even better. But please, um, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah from all of us at Last Chance Animal Rescue. Take care now.